in the halacha, in Yeridea, that's the second section of the uh, four sections of halacha called the Shulchan Aruch, the set table, in uh, chapter 266, uh, halacha 3, 4, 5, and 6, he describes how the circumcision is to be done. He says, after the cutting, the mohel does what is called mitzitza, and mitzitza means to suck, and it means doing so with his mouth. And one could say, well, why can't you use a tube? Well, you could, technically, but it's not the custom as to why, how it was done. Now, why is it that way? Well, you could say that in the olden days you didn't have tubes. Now you can have tubes, so why not? And the answer, as I thought about it, is that it's not as effective because the tube does not seal as well. It's not as pliable. And furthermore, it's not as quick and it's not as close. You have to have a quick suction action. You have to have more pliability. And also, there's the theory, some people feel that it is, some people feel that it's not, that the saliva of a human being has some antiseptic qualities. And it's actually brought in the halacha of the Talmud that uh, the saliva of certain people were actually used as curatives. And so, Saliva is not a bad thing. Saliva in the halacha, in Yeridea, that's the second section of the uh, four sections of halacha called the Shulchan Aruch, the set table, in uh, chapter 266, uh, halacha 3, 4, 5, and 6, he describes how the circumcision is to be done. He says, after the cutting, the mohel does what is called mitzitza, and mitzitza means to suck, and it means doing so with his mouth. And one could say, well, why can't you use a tube? Well, you could, technically, but it's not the custom as to why, how it was done. Now, 